Before powering on your NR308XA recorder, please ensure that you have connected all your cameras to the back of the recorder via Ethernet cable. The ports to connect the cameras to are labelled LAN 1 up to LAN 8. Also connect an Ethernet cable to the WAN port of the back of the recorder directly to the customer's modem. For the monitor, you can either connect a VGA or HDMI monitor. Once you have powered it on the recorder, the first screen that will come up relates to the password for the recorder. You need to enter an 8 digit number, which can also be alphanumeric. For this example, we are going to use 8s. Click apply and OK. You will need to re-enter this password to log into the NVR. As you can see, three cameras have automatically appeared. The reason for this is any IVSEC camera with an X in the model number will automatically be picked up by the PoE ports of the recorder. If you have purchased an IVSEC camera from a different range that does not have an X in the model number, please refer to our frequently asked questions for the setup of these cameras. Now click on setup. If you have been allocated an IP address from your IT administrator, select untick the DHCP box and manually enter the details. For this example, we are going to leave DHCP ticked and click next. Now we're going to configure date and time. This NVR has been configured in Sydney, so we're going to select 10. We're going, to, we're going to leave the time as is. You do have an option for enabling NTP and we're going to enable uh, daylight savings time. Please note that every state does not adhere to daylight savings time. In Sydney, tick. First week of October. Sunday. and then it ends on the first Sunday of April. Click Next. These are the three cameras that, are, that have already been configured. To format the hard drive, select the Select button and Format Hard Drive. Enter your password. Click OK. The recorder will beep during this process. Select OK and click Next. Our monitor is currently set for 1280 by 1024. If your monitor you're using is capable of using 1920-1080, select that and then click Apply. However, for this example, we're just going to keep it as is. Select Next. This information relates to the mobile application available for the Android and Apple devices. We'll explain this in a separate video in our Frequently Asked Questions. Click Finish. The red dot is a sign that it is going to record 24 hours a day. These are currently configured for substream. If you double click on a camera, you are viewing the mainstream. To change the layout, select the four menu option at the bottom. To look at Play Black, click on Search. Select the channels you'd like to play back. As you can see at the bottom, there's a little green notch. As the cameras have only been recording for a little while, there is not much recording time, but this will increase as time goes by. You can change it to two hours to make it easier to see where the recordings start.
if you get this message regarding a resource not enough, untick a camera and just choose two cameras at a time. For further videos, please uh, refer to our website and the Frequently Asked Questions section.